Yo, what's going on, Sexy Sam Linder Squad? Welcome back to episode two of Bronze to Masters, and we're gonna we're gonna start it off with what god should we start it off with? I'm thinking we'll hit a Poseidon game here. I don't think we hit one in, in last episode, so you know why not? Ooh, we got a Gilgamesh. He's he's a platinum border, which I actually think diamond borders and masters borders are too hard to get in duel right now. So I'm gonna I'm gonna respect the platinum border. I'm gonna respect it. Uh now I could go animosity, and it would probably be the best bet. But I'm not going to. Instead, I'm gonna do this stuff. I'm gonna go probably beads here just to get away from like the wall kicks and the alts and jumping on me and whatnot could be spooky could be spooky all right let's go start the red buff is my level three better than his uh as i think as long as i beads the kick into the wall i think it is if i do not beads the kick into the wall then Oh, hold on, I'm gonna get kicked into a wall and die, so. Did he start blue going for red or did he start that red? Oh, he started my speed. How did he get to my speed? Or maybe he maybe he just went to red and circled around. That would make more sense. Maybe he didn't start speeding and I'm just imagining. It'd be very weird if he started speed buff. Because that would mean he would have to run like this all the way around. Dude, imagine. Dude, imagine what the heck. Alright. I'm already level 5. He's still level 4. And he cleared that wave. Just got a just got an achievement called Water Rises. I assume that's for maintaining Poseidon's passive for more than seven seconds. All right, I am level five. I've been I got a minion kicked at me, but you're like, dude, I'm level six now, and you're level four. Yeah, there's no way you win this. Is benevolence. So if I can keep this kind of uh, if I can keep this very strict, what if I just altered you? Well, okay. What's the game plan here, buddy? Well, it would have worked. It definitely would have worked. But um, I had beads. If he actually kept fighting there, which by the way, he probably he probably could have. But if he actually kept fighting there, uh, I would have to beads and run out of vault. And he would have at least forced my beads. But because he ran away, we got his Aegis, we got his alt, and uh and we got his life, ultimately, so. Very good stuff. Let's see if the speed buffs up. I assume it's not. Yeah, he just did it. That's so all six buffs down on the map, but we are up six hundred gold. And a level. Alright, I don't need the beads to kick as, as long as I'm not uh, in danger of being hit to the wall and then all in. Like, even if that was aimed towards the wall, which it wasn't, which is why I didn't beads, but even if it was aimed towards the wall, it doesn't have the damage necessary to follow up and kill. So... I do have alt here. He has no Aegis. If he fights this, he dies, I think. I'm pretty sure he knows that just based on his positioning. Alright. And uh, we're just going to sit here and we're going to hit this tower. The reason we're doing that is because he's got benevolence, like I said earlier. And the faster I can close this game out, the easier it should be for me. So, if he jumps on me, Kraken dies. And uh, we take tower. Uh, 
I actually almost died. Kind of spooky. Yeah, I'm going to be super greedy here. Like, you should never do this. But the buff is going to spawn within the next 15 seconds, and I want to be here for it. This is really dumb for two reasons. One, I have 200 HP. And two, he's going to know the buff is spawning because blue buffs just spawned, like his buff. And he might value red buff over blue buff. And if he does, I'm dead. Luckily, he didn't. <laughs> luckily, he went for his blue. Oh, luckily, he didn't go for anything, actually. I'm going to sack this wave. Um, I'm going to sack this wave and do all of his buffs. You might be thinking to yourself, Sam, that's fucking idiotic. You would be so correct. Like 155 million percent correct. Am I going to do it anyways? You bet your ass I am. And the reason is animosity. Because, like I've been saying all game, I can shut him out. If I can keep him low level, if I can win before he gets 17. And I am all for this match. All for it. Alright, so now he's got nothing up. All right, we cleared wave. I did have to drop the beads on that, but I mean, dude, he's level nine and we're level 11. This is looking good. I hope he doesn't get my speed buff here. He didn't. The reason I can tell he didn't is because the minions had the, uh, they had the movement speed buff that, you, that Gilgabesh jump gives. And if his minions had it, that means he had to jump towards the wave, which means there's no way he's at my speed buff. Perfect. And now, I almost have six buff control on this map. Alright. I do an absolutely absurd amount of damage, and there's no shot he has of uh, winning a fight anymore. Especially because I have Bancrofts now too, so... Now you just pressure Phoenix. It's going to be a slow process because they don't have the enhanced red. Ow. Ow. Excuse you, Satan. That Phoenix hit me twice. 506 damage. Ow. Dang. He's got a, he's got a speed buff now. Unfortunately, that death really sucks. That death is really, really bad. Not because it's like, uh, you know, not because I lose the six buff control on this gigantic map, but more so just because it it stunts the process, the the progress of me shutting him down. I guess. Well, what I guess I should say is it doesn't stunt the process or the progress of him. I'm dead as shit. Oh, no, no, thank God. He's going animosity now. Not in, I mean, not now. He's, he went talisman of energy. He is so fast. I can't get away from him. Please don't kick me into a wall. Oh! I missed everything. Yo, he's so fast. Oh my gosh. My man is like Sanic. Jeez Louise, man. Hmm. Maybe I go Relic Dagger. I think Relic Dagger would actually be really good here. Hmm. All right, we got the red buff. He is sundered me. Excuse you, asshole. Don't sunder me. What the heck? <laughs> Why did you sunder me? I was so rude. He finishes Transcendence. 
Going for that red. Obviously, I do not want to let him. Oh! Alright. I commit to this because uh, I have Bancrofts. Yep. We have Bancrofts. And that's going to be enough to win us the fight there. Thankfully. And with Enhanced Red, I don't think I'll be able to get Phoenix here. Cause just because minions are so far away. Unfortunately, the waves are uh, they're a little bit split. So I won't be able to get Phoenix here. But I can do some nasty, nasty damage to it. Get it pretty close. Yeah, within 500 HP. That's really nice. Okay, he's not chasing. He's chasing. Oh, God. He's chasing. I lied to you all. <laughs> Run. Why are you so fast? Oh, I got this speed buff. <laughs> <laughs> right, he's going frostbound now. Maybe I go Wingblade. Wingblade would be nice. Um, could also just go Telekines. Could also just go Toxic Blade. <laughs> There's. Literally no world you kill me here. Okay. He backing? He came back this way because they figured he'd back, but he did not back. Oh, I'm dead here. Don't kick me into a wall, please. Ah. Oh. You get away from that tower. My tower, obviously, I mean minion wave. I will not rest until you meet the ultimate fate. Oh, God, he kicked me. Hmm. Ooh. He's dead. He's dead. He's dead. No, I can't catch him. That fucking talisman, dude. Come here, you absolute berg turd. All right, we got him. Yo, that was the longest across the map fight. I think we ran around the map two entire times. What the heck? We actually ran the map two entire times. All right, Phoenix down, boys. Now we get to find out how Mr. Gilga here deals with fire minions. And I'm going to go Telekines, and I'm going to go into Ring of Hecate, or Hakate, or whatever you want to call it. Oh, but he does have Frostbound now. Hmm. Hmm. He's still a, a bit away. Oh god, the ages, the ages. He's still a bit away from animosity, thankfully. And he definitely doesn't win these fights. So that's very nice. Um, he's still level 15. I'm level 19, by the way. Like, it's just not even close. I farm this game. I mean, I had six buff control at one point, right? Like, that's incredible. Or five buff control, I think. Actually, because I don't think I ever got his speed buff. But uh, I'm going to I'm gonna grab level 20 here. Off this red buff. The upgraded, uh, the upgraded Kraken level. And then I'm going to fight. And the reason I'm fighting is because he's level 16. I've reached my time limit. I cannot 
and will not have him level 17 because then uh well i might as well just have six i'm completely honest right quite good damage there All right, Titan has come in. We want to pump the damage as much as we can. Like I said, he is still level 16. Um, I may be dead here, actually, which gives him 17. Oh, that's really bad. That's really, really bad. That's really, 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 really bad. Um, okay, here's what I'm thinking. That gives me a lot of damage. We won't get anything off that, obviously. I mean, he's all the way at his Titan. But, well, he might get my tower, I guess. That didn't kill the wave. Uh, I go Ring of Hecate or do I upgrade this? I think I go Ring of Hecate. I just have to make the decision. Here's the play. Here's the play. We chase him all the way down. We do not let him back. Please don't back. Please don't back. Oh, he backed. No. Okay, please tell me he can he can't afford. He just bought that tier two Yoten, so I'm really hoping he can't afford animosity. If I have one more fight where he doesn't get animosity, I win the game. Oh, his HP looks chunky. Please don't tell me you Oh, he afforded it. And he afforded his last item. He got a lot of gold for murdering me. Alright, well, that means one thing, and that's that. I need to, uh, I need to get a good crack in here. If I don't get the good crack in, then I lose. All right. I'm doing really good at baiting him. There's his ult. Okay. That's really good. Um, the Phoenix will be spawning, but if you aggro Titan, it doesn't matter. Oh, no. No. It mattered. It mattered. I think that when the Phoenix respawned, the Titan gained an extra 1,000 HP. And, uh... I think that's a good All right. Uh, does he have a wave with him? If he has a wave. You might get my tower. He doesn't have uh, he doesn't have ages for the next alt though, which is actually huge, by the way. He's not getting my Phoenix. He's just standing there. Uh, my game froze. Oh, there we go. Bless you, babe. This is an intense game. To be fair, though, I do normally ban Gilgamesh right now, but his bans didn't leave room for it. All right. He has no Aegis, and I need to abuse it. If not to kill him, at least to get the Phoenix and live. GG. GG. So I knew he didn't have ages, right? So I, I knew that Kraken was going to land. I knew that Kraken was going to land. What I didn't know is if I would do enough damage to kill him. Because my build only has 500 power. It's very much more focused on life skill and auto attacks than it is about doing a significant amount of damage. So I didn't know if my Kraken would actually be able to kill. But it did. And we killed him. Game one down, boys. Plus one hundred again. Every game this uh every game in this series so far has been plus one hundred. Alright, anyways, over to game two. <clears throat> What's up, boys? Welcome back to game number two. Kronos. And I actually, for the first time in this entire series, have a higher MMR. 
I think I, I think it's the first time in this whole series, which I mean it doesn't. It, generally, it means a lot, but uh, this is only game five of the whole series, so maybe it doesn't mean as much as I think it means. Um, I'm gonna go full tank animosity Chronos this game, mainly because I want to see it. I've done it before, I think, but. Oh, did I do it before? I think I did it on the other map. I haven't done it on this map yet. But it, it's a lot of fun normally. And yes, I am going beads against Tiamat. Reason being is uh, when he jumps into that melee stance, I want absolutely nothing to do with his mini knockup that will fuck me up and stop my ult. So that's why. Now, this is the same guy I fought last game, so he might know what I'm doing this game. But he still gave me the, the blue. Or, I'm sorry, he's at his blue and he gave me the red, is what I meant to say. He will outclear me, and that's not the contest. Oh, actually, no, he won't. He started tier 2 boots. Why would you ever do that to yourself? All right. I used my face to body block his one so that I could actually still get the buff. He's just gonna, yeah, he's just gonna execute. Unfortunately, I don't do enough damage here to, to kill, which sucks, but is what it is. My damage is very bad, thanks to Benevolence, but uh, it's kind of expected. Not kind of. I mean, it literally is expected, right? You, like, you shouldn't expect to build an item that has strong late game and expect to be strong early game with it. That's dumb. All right. <laughs> so he has full boots. He also has Sunder. I got three. No, I got two buffs. He got two buffs. My two buffs are still up for uh, contestation. Ow. It looks to me like he's gonna pressure my my tower. Kind of, he's doing the same thing I did last game. Um, in the sense where he wants to try to make sure I don't get my animosity online ever. I think he's doing a good job of it so far. I mean, nothing insane, but. I really don't care about the HP of my tower. I much more care about the farm and the leveling. So even though he's trying to pressure me and do all this kind of, I don't know, kind of like structure damage and this tearing me down from the inside, it's not going to, it's not like actually going to do anything here. All right, whatever. I'll just alt that. All right. All right, good stuff. I am going to go... Very, very heavy into lifesteal here. Reason being is Tiamat is not a super burst one shot, like punch you in the butthole type mage. She's more like, I'm going to use my mage burst and then go into my super tanky mode and stay there for the rest of the fight and hit you with a few rotations. And if I have more lifesteal, it's easier to live through. Just pretty obviously. 
Here it comes. I'm not gonna be because I'm not in danger of dying. Alright. So my life steal comes in handy. He does not have what he needs to have right here to kill me. Which basically is more defense and more damage. He has neither of those things. All right, we're gonna get this red buff down and go to the other red buff, which he might actually be able to get. Oh, he's not here. Oh, well, that's really bad. He should be here. Okay. Maybe he's doing his blue. Maybe instead of invading the red buffs that I've already gotten, he's more focused on securing his own farm. But that's not really how you should play against animosity. Against animosity, you need to you need to be proactive. You need to think about the future and what's going to happen to you once that animosity comes online, and you got to stop it. So I am now. I've gotten five plus four. I've gotten nine buffs, and he's gotten three. Oh my gosh. He is in for a rough time. Assume he's going to jump this. Alright, I miss. Doesn't really matter though. He's going to run anyways. Oh, I fucked up my beads. I fucked up my beads. Big unlucky. All right, nothing on the map right now. He had his blue buff on him, so not much to think about there. In fact, maybe, no, I was going to say maybe instead of going into uh, Bancrofts here, maybe I actually just go straight Pestilence. Uh, not because he's going to be healing a lot through items, but because his passive as the mage form heals like an absolute shit ton. And I know how much it heals because I've played Tiamat and it's incredible. It actually heals so much. So I think even if they don't build lifesteal, um, anti-heal is required. But also Pestilence has good HP on it. Yeah, this is, this is not your game, buddy. You got no defense. You got no defense, and I am doing big buku amounts of damage. Tower down. My blue buff is actually up. How much is Pestilence here? 1600. All right. We clear wave. We back. We get Pestilence for the HP. 250. It's... it's. Oh, actually, no. We go Talisman of Energy. I always forget about that item. Talisman of Energy. But it's so good against... You know, especially when you're going animosity, it's so good. Let's go. So we go Talisman of Energy here. I do want to go Divine or Toxic Blade or some sort of anti-heal. Because like I said, I think his passive is nuts. Uh, I think I'm just going to go Toxic Blade next item. It gives me a lot of attack speed. Gives me a little bit of HP. Helps with animosity. I'm about it. I'm about it. There's nothing on the map, so whatever. He went over there to, I guess, scare me, but didn't work. I'm going to get the timer for this blue. The buff spawns. My red, his blue, my red. And yes, I just called both reds mine because they are. Um... Actually, I, I was going to say I could just pressure, but there's no point. It's much better to pressure while you have the, the red buff online. He's going to the other red, but if I if I burn this, I might be able to blink and, and meet him at that other red. I might be able to steal that other red. All right. He went to go to the red, but it wasn't up yet. He still has no defense. That's a huge misplay. It's a huge misplay. Um, 
I am going to have to do this because I want my minions. Giving him his blue, but also securing the speed buff over here. Oh, I thought I was going to invade him, so he didn't do his blue yet. actually have six buff control for real and i'm chronos so obviously i can hit phoenix here which i will but i have to wait for my two to come up all right now we're back the toxic blade and i actually am going to start again in the in the this tree, because I think I want Relic Dagger. I think having Blink up up more often would be nice. Very nice, very nice kill. We hit those long range autos, hit the hit the abilities. We blinked and, and stunned while he was charging his one, which by the way, he can't cancel. He has to use. So there's no way he could jump my stun or beads my stun or anything like that. So that was really good, um, I guess, timing on that. I just got another award that says poor minions. And uh, that's one more win, bro. One more win. I'll see you guys in game three. <clears throat> what's up boys game three let's go dude if i win this which you know i have higher mmr and i'm only i'm still less than 2k mmr so it'd be really embarrassing if i lost if i win this that's another promo and it should kick us i'm gold three right now let's see if i get another win and another promo i would be six and oh on this account because i think i've only played six matches about three matches per promo, right? So we get another promo. I think maybe we'll hit up probably platinum three. We might we might be plat three here. I think that's about it. I don't think anything super crazy will happen. Dude, it, actually we might be plat five. The reason I say that, I really hope we're still not in gold. <laughs> that would that would be upsetting if I got to get two promos to get out of gold. But, um, I think I should be plat three. If I'm plat five, it's okay. Because once you get past gold and into plat slash diamond, you like in plat, you can still skip, but it's obviously much harder. Right? You need like a really high MMR to do so. And in diamond, you can't skip at all. Like it just doesn't let you skip. Divisions and diamond sometimes on weird kit. Did you he ran straight to this to the red buff and didn't get any buffs huh? um on weird occasions you can actually Skip in diamond, but you need like 3k MMR or like something just insane. By the way, this is an insanely good matchup for me He started bluestone with two pots. He started blink as well. I don't think or bluestone not with two pots but bluestone with um Two chalices, that's what I meant to say. I don't think he knows the power of Zeus. Zeus, sorry. Hey, Hades early game. I woke up from a from a three to four hour nap just a minute ago, so my brain's a little bit dumb. A little bit in the whole not worky actual hurdy stage right now, so forgive, please. Oop. All right, that's done. I really don't have much mana at all. I think I might just alt this wave. You know, I'm just gonna alt the wave. All 
All right. So clearly my man is aggressive. Clearly. He thinks he can kill me. Can't, but he thinks he can. He might do my blue here. Because he did run over there. Oh, no. He's back at wave. Did he do his blue? I actually didn't see if he had his blue on him. He does. Okay, so he did his blue. Yeah, I was going to say that I, if he walks into the tower here, he's actually trolling because if you think you're pressuring tower with King Arthur, you're out of your damn mind. <laughs> I only have auto attacks, but I also like just got a Bancroft. So yeah, definitely not your forte. Definitely not exactly what you wanted. I just realized this is the only guy I fought all game or all a video. I fought the same guy three times. Wow, he's back already. That was a very fast respawn time. Oh, I didn't go a starter item, by the way. I should have said this. I didn't go a starter item, by the way, because I want to do this combo with Polly and Boomba's hammer that people are doing, and it looks really fun. We'll see how that works out. You have beads. Definitely do not have beads. So I think you just die here. Oh, I guess that's weird. You can three out of that. All right. Good kill. Good kill. I right, run this way. We run back this way. We press two. Then we press three. Boom. Lots of HP. I drop a ward so I can see where he's going. And then we back and get boots. Hold on boots. That is. I'm actually really surprised. I thought he was going to blink me. I thought he was going to blink into me. He finished his boots. Actually, he could probably kill me there. That was probably a really dumb decision. The lazy back like that. Because he has blink and he finished his boots. He could have messed me up. Thankfully, I think I've put the fear of God in him over the past 30 minutes. And uh, he's doing my blue, that bitch. And uh, he didn't want to fight me. That's right. You can do my blue. I'll punch your tower in the head. Plus, I still have four buff control anyways. So... We are feeling pretty good. Alright. Have fun with the wave, bud. I'm gonna get the red buff. Takes him quite a long time to clear, actually. Are you here? Uh, the other red is spawning. He's actually, he might be there. I'm going to let him be there. Yeah, he did. He did do the other red. Oh. He altered to get out of it. I didn't think you could do that. And yet here we are. So he did the other red. And then blinked on me. This tower is still almost dead, though. Like, it's more than half dead. I'm pretty sure his blue buff is up for grabs. It is, because he's going for it right now. Thank you. Hmm, if you don't mind. I'm just going to walk away now. You could stop at any point. That's okay. I mean. Okay. Running through the tower. Understandable. Understandable. I will say, dude. Putting up a good fight this game. Like, he's actually contesting buffs and, like, doing the right things. Like, don't get me wrong. He is contesting buffs, and uh, for somehow I still have four buff control. But, I mean, he's level 12, and I'm level... Or, he's level 10, and I'm level 12, so, like... 
it's definitely like it's definitely been worse before so he's doing better this game for sure I can't kill him he has tier 2 defense he's backing though I'll probably take tower here I got minions literally right here ready to frag out oh but then again I only do 39 damage in auto so maybe we don't take tower here Or maybe we do. Can you get out of my face, please? Okay, you do actually like a crazy amount of damage. Oh, he blinked. Oh, he ulted again. Oh. The blinks and the alts, dude. It really gets me. It really gets me. Dang it. Plus, I mean, he does. He has a lot of power right now. He's got 105 power with two items. That's actually like... That's a lot. That's a lot, a lot. 105 power with boots and ansile. Oh, and bluestone, I guess. Technically three items. Right, my blue is up. But I also want to check the red buff. Timer on that. We'll do my blue, my speed, and then my red will probably be gone by the time I get there. So I doubt I'll be able to do that, but we'll see. We'll see. Did I miss my three on this minion? Why is he so tanky? going more defense I'm gonna completely ignore him and go for the red buff all right the Sunder Thunder Funder ran away for this just kidding apparently I don't do enough damage and go to this red now. My damage is really low, actually. I'm gonna need something to buff it a bit. Oh, what's up, dog? How are you? Can I win this fight? Um, I think that I can. Yeah, we did. Awesome. Heal the minions with my three. And actually might be able to take Phoenix here, dude. Hey, red buff. Of the enhanced red. Ah, we won't be able to get it actually. Because my minions got fucked up by the twirly whirly tornado that is King Arthur. But that's okay. Why did he sell his tier two sh his tier two uh Genjis to get tier two what is that pestilence probably? A little weird. A little weird, a little weird. Um, by the way, I'm going actual obsidian shard right now and upgraded spear. Because with him stacking defense like this, I think my best bet isn't actually spamming abilities like it was gonna be with my max cooldown build. I think it might just be fragging out. Like Sunder Alt and try to just pop off. But we'll see. I mean, I could definitely be wrong. I've been wrong a lot before in the past. My red buff is gone, which means I probably can't take tower. My next item is going to be poly because it's the whole reason I built this build. I want to try it. 
doing some damage damages hello hello all right upgraded thunder and then we all he sat in the entire alt i made a mistake please don't alt me oh god oh jesus i could die here i could die here very easily i could die here very easily thankfully though he seems like a scaredy baby boy so he's gonna blink on me isn't he oh he blinked oh he blinked but i had the reaction time i had the reaction time boys i had the fear oh gosh actual scary i really thought i was dead when he blinked i thought he was just gonna blink alt and and it was over but i think he tried to get an ability off before alting and the greed really the greed really hit him the greed ruined it let's get a couple autos off before we leave he doesn't have blink now so we're gonna chill it red is down or not red is down sorry blue is down the red is coming up and i'm going there right now next item is either going to be boomba's hammer or polly um, I think I'm gonna try to farm to level 20 before I back so that I could just get a Boomba's Hammer next item. Hmm. But we'll see. A lot of, a lot of buffs on the map. Wait, do I have six buff control right now? Assuming my, my blue is mine. I don't know. Right after this blue buff, if it is even up, it is perfect. I can back and I can get my uh, my Boomba's hammer. The whole reason for the build. Nice. What does Boomba's hammer do? 80 true damage after an auto. My cooldowns are reduced by one second and 5% of your max HP. That's a good ass item. Boom. Why did why did he stop his back? Did he know I was gonna thunder him from 16 million miles away? Because only an idiot would actually thunder there. Which is why I did it. Wait, I thought this was supposed to be true damage. It just hit that minion for 61. See? 61, 19. That's not true damage. Maybe it was a fluke. Let's try again. 61 what the oh it hit the titan for true damage but not the minions i missed it hit him for 77 boys i don't know if smite knows what true damage means yeah smite definitely doesn't know what true damage means because that that that's not true damage <laughs> what the heck well either way we won the game just now let's see where we get placed it's the big kaboot right now dude big kaboot we get to see where we get placed please at least at least platinum five platinum four i'll take it i'll take it gg gamer platinum four let's go all right Hope you guys enjoyed episode two of this series. We are currently six and zero as is. Hopefully, I can get to masters without losing a game, but you never know. Until next time, peace.